Hey guys, so today we are gonna be talking about our favorite hair products. What's up guys, welcome back to Gen Slounge. I'm George, this is Blake. If you have not hit that subscribe button yet, please do that right now. We are here every week talking about men's fashion, lifestyle, and today, some grooming essentials. Now, I know you guys have been wanting Blake to do a hair tutorial, which we are working on. He just needs to get in with his barber, I need to get, a get this hair cleaned up so we can give you the perfect tutorial. So today, we're gonna go over some of the products that we use on a regular basis. So up first on the list, guys, Blake and I both use the Dyson hair dryer. I mean, yeah. um, it's a $400 hair dryer, yes, but I will say that I have noticed after using it that it doesn't dry my hair better than any other blow dryer I've ever had, but my hair feels less damaged and less like crispy after yeah. I do it. I, I think so for me, I've been using a blow dryer for years, like 10 years. And to me, it, it like you said, it doesn't dry it better, but I don't get the same heat that I do with like the, the, the traditional dryers. Traditional dryers, I'm getting like high, high heat and it's like damaging your hair. Right. So this kicks out the like the right temperature heat, or at least I think it does, but my hair just, it's like a lot smoother. So I feel like this, yeah, it makes, I mean, we're talking about a blow dryer, <laughs> yeah, I understand yeah, guys, yeah. but I feel like this pushes more air versus more heat. Like yeah, exactly. when, when you have a blow dryer, all of the, the air on a regular blow dryer feels hot. Yeah. This feels like a blast of hot with like cold around it. it uh, it's, it's crazy <laughs> to describe it, but guys, please Google it. Like, this is a non-sponsored video. We're just doing this because we love these products. We actually use Dyson's blow dryer. And like he, George said, it is $400. It's an investment. If you are if you blow dry your hair every day, bam, do it. If you can go half hours with your girlfriend, do it. You know, like it's a blow dryer that's gonna last you a long time. Or you can buy it for your girlfriend as a present. She will love you and you get to use it. That's a wrap. I mean, boom. Win-win. Guilty birds and one stone. Okay guys, so enough about blow dryers. On to our favorite products that we are using right now. You wanna go first? I'll go first, I'll go first. All right guys, so up first on my list, I have this one right here, Forte. It's by Alex Costa. If you have thick hair or you're looking for a lot of hold, minimal shine and texture, this is gonna be the product for you. And this is your your fresh out the haircut This is like go -to. day one when I have a haircut or, and, and I'm going to an event or I wanna look my best, this bad boy is it. Okay, so I have a little more of a process, I guess, to my my getting ready for Diva. my hair. Yes. Diva. So I have two products that are kind of pre-style. So before I even blow dry, like right out the right out the shower, towel dry, um, I have this primer from Victory Barber brand, which I've talked to you guys about before. Mm -hmm. It basically keeps your hair from getting damaged when with the heat and the blow dryer. And um, it's great for kind of getting that first initial boost of volume if you want that boost in there. And then I have this styling cream from Fellow Barber. So this styling cream basically can be pre-blow dry or just as like a standalone product. But I like this one because if I had just washed my hair, you know how you kind of get that post wash, like oh, poofy, I, like frizzy. Today. Right, yeah. so so if you put this in when you towel dry your hair, this gives you like that, that two day old oh. hair feeling and look, okay. so it's not frizzy, it's not poofy, and you can kind of go about your day with clean hair while still looking your best. So those are, those are my, my pre-styling products, and then I'd have two different pomades which I use that are two different pomades like you have as well. This one is a clay pomade, which is probably closest to what you brought on your end, but it's way lighter, like way less sticky. Um, I don't need a lot of product once I blow dry my hair. I kind of just need something to hold everything in I, place. I, I, I... So basically what I like about these two different things is they're both kind of a strong hold. One is more of a matte finish, and this one, the strong pomade from Fellow Barber has more of a shine. So if I'm doing something fancier or classier, I'll go with a shinier pomade or you know late night kind of dinners, more shiny. During the day, I go more matte. So your products are pretty much barber owned. Right? Yes. Almost all of them. Yeah. Yes. So my next product, guys, is, is, is also blogger owned, YouTube owned. This is by Bluemon. So you may have heard of him. He's also on YouTube. He's doing predominantly hair. I want to say 95% hair, uh, but he has a wide range of products. This right here is a clay. This is something that I would use. This is my everyday, I guess you could say. This is like my t-shirt and jeans. Okay. You know, I, I, I like it like as a regular hair product. I use it a lot. Um, but this is like, like I said, like my daily. But if I had a fresh haircut and then just want a different look, I want to like, 
have more of a tassel in my hair. I'm gonna use this by Head & Shoulders. Guys, this is just your regular drugstore product um, clay. It's a molding clay. Like George's, this is gonna give you more of a pliable feel. So I could use a Schmidt ton of product and it's still gonna move, you know? Yeah. Which is kind of cool. It gives me like a different feel. Not as polished, but you know, like I like it. I like it. And it's, I think seven bucks or less. So it's a good price. Yeah, that's a great deal. But guys, I think it's important to mention that you can pretty much achieve most looks with some type of product or another. Not necessarily the price that makes it yes. a better product. The price usually makes it, either you're paying for the branding and the packaging, or you're paying for the quality of the product that doesn't dry out your hair or damage your hair. Yes. So the more expensive a product is, you're probably paying for better quality ingredients that will still do the same thing as your Aquanet hairspray yep. or like your LA Looks bucket of gel. <laughs> it's still gonna do the same thing. Like honestly, those might hold your hair in place better, but these are gonna be better for your hair. Yeah. And last but not least, I think we both have different versions of hairspray here. Yeah, yeah, so, bef I, okay guys, before I was a huge hairspray guy, like Aquanet, I wanted like that firm hair until I started using, until I started styling my hair, grew it out. And now I'm using this, this is called Elnet. So this is very popular amongst like women or hairstylists because it gives you a strong hold, but it's pliable. You can still move it around and it won't flake. I buy the one that's for um, color treated hair because I have my highlights. So yeah, you got to consider all of the variables. Yes. So the last product I have is from Victory Crown Barber Co. Not to be confused with Victory Barber brand. Two different people. This one is from Anthony the Barber on Instagram, but big on Instagram, but barber first. Yeah. Like he started making his own pomade, cool I think dude. like 15 years ago yeah. in his garage and opened up three barber shops and now does education for the biggest hair care brands. Um, yeah, just tooted his own horn a little yeah, bit. A little um, bit. He's yeah. a good guy. But this spray from there, Victory Crown Barber, is pretty much like a combination of a sea salt texture spray and then if you've seen any of those texture powder videos where they sprinkle powder in your hair and then it looks like a big dust cloud, this kind of gives you the power of that powder in a spray form so you don't get super messy, but it gives you that same texture and like kind of light matte hold. Yeah, I don't use this, but a lot of my friends at the barbershop use these type of products mm -hmm. and they, they swear by them, so I know they're gonna be good. So now just a little tip that I do when I'm using these guys, I don't wash my hair every day. I typically wash it every three days. Um, one, because again, I have my, my, the color of my hair, but also because I love the greediness that my natural oils give me. So I wash it every, every other day if I'm at the gym a lot or every three days. All right guys, so that pretty much wraps up the video. So these are the products that Blake and I use on a regular basis. Once again, this is not a sponsored video. This is just, what we use. As you can see, Blake's are all labeled clay. These two are labeled pomade. But honestly, um, just because something's labeled a paste, a clay, a wax, a pomade, does not necessarily mean it's going to do the same thing. Like the texture of all three of those clays is completely <laughs> different. And the texture of these two pomades is completely different. But they will give kind of a different look and a different hold. It's really just important to find what works for you and you know if when you go to the barber shop if your barber has a big selection of stuff ask him to style your hair with a different product every time so you can kind of test what's on the shelf without picking up a whole can and figuring out yeah this doesn't really work <laughs> for me so once again blake is going to do his grooming video very very soon but we're also going to do another video where i style my hair with blake's products and blake styles his hair with my products and see what the end result is so I'm very curious. If you guys want to see that video, comment down below. Comment your favorite hair product. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll have links to all these products down below if you want to check them out. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, please do that right now. Follow us on Instagram at Gents Lounge. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.